is a place in Birmingham that people should know. It's on Steelhouse Lane, where sick children go. Just recently there, some time we have spent, looked after by people who have been heaven sent. This place is amazing, it's almost unreal. From the top neurosurgeons. To the cooks of your meal. Miracles happen here, we can all vouch for that. Whilst watching for weeks in the chair I was sat. Doctors and nurses on every team. They turn worst nightmares into a beautiful dream. Angels without wings, I'll tell you again. These aren't normal people, not just women and men. Thanking the wards from 12 down to 1 to the care that you give to a daughter or son. The team in rehab who show so much care. The therapy we give and the special moments that we share. Playing with toys. First steps. And some food. And celebrate with parents as they receive happy news. The fundraising team needs you to dig deep. To stop any more children from going to sleep. We need new facilities to keep up the pace so more and more children keep winning the race. Birmingham Children's Hospital goes the extra mile. Determined to make every child they touch smile. So if tragedy befalls you and this hospital it brings, just remember who works here, angels without wings.
Kingdom have voted to leave the European Union. I hope this victory brings down this failed project and leads us to a Europe of sovereign nation states. It's a major blow to European political and economic integration and a huge embarrassment for British Prime Minister David Cameron, who might lose his job as a result. Britain is better off inside the EU than out on our own. At the heart of that is the single market. 500 million customers on our doorstep, a source of so many jobs, so much trade, and such a wealth of opportunity for our young people. Britain's exit, or the Brexit as it's called, will have huge implications for the British economy. The EU functions as a single integrated economy, kind of like the United States. And now that Britain is out, regulations could make it harder to move goods across the English Channel. Lots of multinational corporations have their headquarters in London. But now they might find that it makes more sense to have their European headquarters in the European Union, which could lead to job losses in Britain. The EU also allows for the free movement of people within its member states, which means that any EU citizen can live and work in any other EU country without a visa. And the UK's high employment rate has drawn migrants from poorer countries in the EU, like Poland and Lithuania. But many in Britain resent these migrants, and that resentment was a key driving force in the decision for Britain to leave the European Union. So now that Britain's out, nobody really knows what's gonna happen to all those EU migrants. So what comes next? A long negotiation between the UK and the EU's member states, where they have to hash out issues like trade, tariffs, agriculture, immigration, and a whole host of other issues. Nobody really knows what this means for the other EU countries. They could rally together and push for even more integration. Or some countries could look at Britain and say, we should get out too. But one thing is clear, Britain's exit is a huge blow to the dream of a united Europe. <laughs> 